Hi everybody, today we are going to be starting to write the opening to our tale of fear. So the objective today is to introduce characters and settings and how we do that is through lots of description and lots of conversations between the characters that really set the scene for our reader. So it's only a short paragraph today and I have written my own version of it and I'm going to show you what I've done and I'm going to talk you through what I was thinking at the time of writing to hopefully help you with your thought process when you're writing. So on the screen you can see we've obviously got the date the yellow, um, the steps to success were including dialogue, adjectives and similes, all of which we have looked at in the past including this week. So I do ask you to go back and look at the slides if you have forgotten anything or if you can't find it send me a message and I will send them through to you. But also on the screen, we've got the first paragraph from the staying out text. So I just want to read this to you because this is the structure that we are going to need to put together in our writing today. Kev's mum eyed us both. OK, but no fooling around, she muttered as she turned up the TV. At long last, we had permission to spend the night camping out, even if it was only at the bottom of Kev's garden. OK, so that is the original text, OK? And what I've done is I've put it on the slide today because I feel like it might be useful to have it on the same slide that you're working from. And the reason I've done this is because I find it easier to start myself off in my writing if I've got the original text. And I particularly find this easier for the very first paragraph because it helps me start off with a good structure. OK, we wouldn't want to stick too closely to the original text throughout the whole of our writing, we would like to be a bit more creative than that. But when you're just starting off, it's really helpful to have a good structure to start off with. So I'm going to read you my paragraph and I feel like you will be able to tell and I would like you to listen for the similarities, okay? So what is similar to the original text? Joe's mum glared at us both. Okay, but don't stay up too late, she insisted as she opened the back door. After weeks of begging, we were finally allowed to camp out, although we were only venturing to the end of the garden. I have actually made a mistake there. I need a capital letter, so I'll just correct that. But I'm sure you can tell by me reading that how that is very similar. And as I was saying, I wouldn't really like you to have it this similar throughout. But when you're starting off and you're wanting to stick to a particular structure, it's really important that you've got something to base it on. So that's why I would like you to use the first paragraph from the original text as much as you possibly can today to help you get that structure right. And then tomorrow when we're writing our next paragraph, we won't use it as closely. It won't be as similar. But today it's OK if it is because it helps you follow the structure. OK, there are some things I'm going to want you to add in. But I'm not going to talk about that just yet because I'm going to talk about the resources that I've used to help me write this first paragraph and where I got the ideas from because it's not from the top of my head because, of course, I have my plan. So I've got Joe's mum, Joe and Joe's friend. Then I've got the dialogue. OK, but don't stay up too late. And then I've introduced the setting. They are camping in the garden. So that is what we've got here. I've included all of that information. But as I've said before, it's really important that we don't just include what we've got in our boxing up. We have to add to it because that makes it different from the original text. But that also helps us develop our own creativity and not needing to stick to one thing. So I'm actually going to add to my paragraph now. I'm sure you'll have noticed that I haven't included any adjectives or similes yet. So I'm going to do that because that would be me making my writing better. Right. Oh, there we are. So if it's not clear, what I'm going to describe is the garden because that's the setting I'm talking about right now. It might not be the only thing I describe throughout my story, but the garden is what's relevant in this paragraph. So I'm going to start off writing now. So I'm just going to read my last sentence just so I make sure that it's cohesive and that it flows. After weeks of begging, we were finally allowed to camp out, although we were only venturing to the end of the garden. It was still exciting, though.
Joe's garden was more like a forest. Trees stood as tall as, so this is a simile, trees stood as tall as skyscrapers. The leaves were a bronze colour. So there I've included an adjective and a simile and I'm going to just do one more descriptive sentence. When I stood on them They made a crunching sound. I'm trying to think of something that I compare it to, comp can compare it to that also crunches. When I stood on them, they made a crunching sound. Like crisps. Right, I do need to read through my paragraph because when we're writing, it's really easy to forget very important things, capital letters, full stops, commas. So it's important that even though I know I know how to include those things, that I check that I actually have. Because when you're thinking of what you're writing, it's easy to forget other things. So I'm just going to go from the part that I've added on from. Joe's garden was more like a forest. So I've got my apostrophe, that's fine. Trees stood as tall as skyscrapers. That's fine. The leaves were a bronze colour. I might change that because it doesn't quite sound as good as it could. I will edit that afterwards and I will change it to a different colour so that you can see how I've edited it. And that might give you an idea as to how you can edit yours. When I stood on them, <clears throat> they made a crunching sound like crisps. And I might edit that as well, because even though it is a simile, I feel like I could make it sound better and more effective. So I'm going to edit my last two sentences after, and I will highlight them so that you can see the changes that I've made. And that might give you some ideas as well. But just always remember, once you've written your paragraph, once you've included everything from your boxing up, add to it. Check that you've used everything and followed everything from the steps to success. Check that you've included all of your punctuation. And then check that you can't make anything better. Okay, always try and make it better. Even if you feel like you've got everything else right, always try and improve it somehow. And if you want to use a thesaurus to help you, you can. And of course, send me a message if you have any questions or if you want me to send you anything to help you.